Ichi! Perfect timing. We've got a huge problem. What's wrong? The toilet's all clogged up and we can't find a plunger anywhere. A, a plunger? Yeah, that thing you use when there's shit stuck in the pipes. Yeah, I know what it is, but come on! We're Yakuza, not your handyman! Well, excuse me. I suppose it wasn't me who cleaned you up every time you shit yourself. I was a baby! Oh, you had accidents until fifth grade! One time! And my stomach was killing me that day! Go. Yeah. If you have one, could you run into Shangri-La? Just buy one for them. They raised you for crying out loud. A man your age should be sending money to his family anyway. <sighs> you think I can afford that? I'm barely scraping by as is. Well, then you need to leave that sorry Arakawa family and join a family with some real push, kid. Sure. You'd be their gopher for a while, but that's... You're an idiot. I swore an oath to... <laughs> Aren't you an obedient little dog? You're babysitting Arakawa's kid? Ha! Ah, Ichi that... Hey, look. The young master's the same age as me. He's not a kid. Young master? What is this, the 18th century? Besides, I'm not babysitting him. I'm his caretaker. He's been in a wheelchair since... Oh, so he needs a big, strong Yakuza at his side. And... <sighs> Arakawa's going soft in him. Hey, try saying one more... Hey, Aniki. Yo, 
Did you give those high Yep. Never seen kids happier to see a yacht to see. They ain't so bad. Dude, there's no reason to be happy about it. If we don't score big on our next job, the captain's going to kill us. I know that. What it's a shakedown. Our mark borrowed 500k from a loan shark and hasn't paid back a single yen. And apparently, he's immune to Yakuza threat. But we thought we'd give it a shot, so we bought the loan. Well, let's go, man. The dignity. <laughs> uh, hey, by the way, Captain Sawashiro said to pull out all the stops to get this money back. So we might have to rough him. All right, so where is this clown? Right here he hangs out around Public Park 3 a lot. I'll go on ahead and scope it out. Meet me over there. All right. Oh, Aniki. Is our guy here? Sure is. Look over there. That's Hiratsuka. <laughs> that dude. Do you know him? Forget it. Let's go. Hey there, Hiratsuka-san. Enjoying a little break, are we? Having a smoke while you mooch your ass still owes a ton of money? Oh, you think we won't beat you to a pulp? That other family went easy on you, but we won't. The Arakawa family doesn't fuck around. If you don't want to get hurt, get out your wallet. Hey, you think I won't do it? I can't pay back what I can't pay back. That's all there is to it. I see you're still just coasting on your size, oh great Hiratsuka. How'd you know that nickname? Who the hell are you? Ah, oh, don't you remember, pal? We used to wrestle when we were kids. You thought it was so cool to power bomb other kids, as long as you were the only one big enough to do it. Oh, I remember. You're Soapy Ichi. And if this guy's your pal, that must mean... <laughs> you ended up in the Yakuza. Shocker. And I heard you joined the JSDF only to flunk out and come crawling back here. Life's a bitch, huh? Yeah, it is. So deal with it some- No can do, pal. We gotta deal with it right here, cause we're Yakuza. See, Yakuza orders are mandatory, and my orders are- So hand it over. I told you, I don't have any money! Come on, great son. let's make this easy. All I need is your wallet. I don't wanna get rough with you. You understand, right? Huh. <laughs> you saying that even a grown-ass man is scared of my power bobs? No, I'm saying I don't want to see the strongest guy in middle school tap out. Be a shame if that was your peak. Huh. Sounds like Soapy Ichi needs to taste the dirt again. You want it so bad? Try and take it! Here we go! Tag match, Aniki! Not this time. You be the referee. I want him all to myself. Huh? <sighs> Quit jabbering and let's do this! The course Let's do it! Cool! Oh, boy! Come on now! Check this out! Come on! Yeah! 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 Still pretty strong. <sighs> but not strong enough. Say goodbye to your wallet. Please, beat me up if that's what your boss wants. But don't take my money! Well, looky here. He did have the cash. This fucking lowlife had no intention of paying it back. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Aniki! What? 
Just getting all the junk out of his wallet first, man. Looks more like money to me. All right, great son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? Oh. Okay. Okay, let's go, Mitsu. Hey, Hariki! What's up with you? Why did you take the money? Hiratsuka won't screw us. He'll pay it off. We just give him time. How you figure that? You think he's out here working his ass off, doing construction on New Year's Eve just for fun? Didn't you notice what he was smoking? It was just a nub, man. He obviously just picked it up off the ground. Why'd he do that if he had so much cash? Because it's New Year's. He probably wanted to buy his mom a nice meal, so he got some cash out of the bank, you know? That doesn't mean it's okay to be late on his payments. Look, you know that old candy shop just past Showa Street? Uh, yeah, it closed last year, right? What about it? Hiratsuka's mom ran that shop. Really? She closed it because she got sick. Real sick. I went to see her in the hospital, and she was thin as a rail. But even so, she was happy, because her son was back in Kamurocho, taking care of her. So, that money Hiratsuka borrowed was... It was all for her hospital bills. Oh. But, dude, if we go back empty-handed, Captain Sawashiro's gonna kill us! We're not going back empty-handed. We were asked to snatch the dude's wallet. And look, that's exactly what we snatched. You know that's not what the captain meant. Hey, speak of the devil. For real? Hello, this is Ichiban. You're slow. I told you to pick up with the two rings. Sorry, Captain. Don't tell me you're still out there doing collections. Just finish up the last one, sir. I'm about to head back to the office. That'd be great. Except right now you should be with the young master. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'll be there as fast as I can. What good is that? He still has to wait for you. Why are you always slow as shit? I'm sorry, sir! Just move your ass, and don't take him anywhere dumb or dangerous. If anything happens to him under your watch, I'd have to kill you a thousand times. Yes, I know that, sir! So you gotta go play chaperone to the young master? Yeah, damn it. I can't believe I forgot. Mitsu, take this back to the office for me. Oh, no! I'm not gonna be the one to hand this in to the captain. You just let me know when the young master lets you off your leash. I'll kill time until then. Young mess. I, I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. <laughs> sorry, I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce? Forget what day it is? Uh, of course not. It's Yumino-san's birthday, 
right? You didn't come without a gift, did you? No, I brought something. It's just... I didn't have much, so it's... <laughs> as long as you didn't tell Dad about this, you did it. Of course not. If he asks where we went, just tell him we yes, went. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me. He's just worried about you. You mean... Don't talk like you know me. <laughs> Sorry. Greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, ephedrine? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. But how? How did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Injected here. Huh? None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. <laughs> You're a fucking wuss. Sir? Young master? Young master! <laughs> Masato-san? Oh my goodness! Are you all better? Hey, where's Yumino-san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we- Soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very bit- Hey! I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry.
えいはいん ?No Yo. Sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Mm, well, um, how should I put this? I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> e. John, what are you doing? I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up! This is ludicrous. Ludo, what? You some normal a- You said you'd be civil. You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please excuse my companion here. He's usually better behaved. I find that hard to believe. This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. You see, in this industry, they can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. That's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Pick anything you'd like, and don't worry about the price.
Thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another one. I couldn't accept that. Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? How no, about... thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion when accepting gifts. Where do you get off acting so high and mighty? You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you. Unfortunately, I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. <laughs> wow. Are you even allowed out this late? At a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat already? Cheers! Cheers. Happy birthday, Yumino-san! Such fancy drinks, Yumino-san! You spoil us! Thank you! Hey, aren't you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. Only natural they'd forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that after all? Young master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, Yumino-san, what did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. Aw, you two are so cute! Jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masato-san. Eiji, show her yours first. Uh, sure. I, I'm not really used to this kind of thing, though, so...
Just do it. Sorry. I know it's not much. What is that? Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. And you're the young master's woman. I, I mean, his girlfriend. So that's even harder. But this was the most expensive one they had. I promise. <laughs> what? The name Ichiban means the best, but I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> we should start calling him Ichiban. Am I right? <laughs> Masato-san, you're so clever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Here. That's my girl. I knew you'd approve. How, how much was it? About the price of a condo. A high-end one. Not just some dump, of course. Uh, uh, thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Yubino-san, can I have you at the front for a moment? Shh. Really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just in high demand. Right. Excuse me. I'll be right back. It's okay. He's so nice! Well... Back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Well, we'd have to ask oh, you. She'd kill us for sure. But I'd still enjoy being your girl while I... I think I had one too many. Some wingman I am. Hoyle. I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's... Well, he's the son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course to you he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet. Stop! This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now, he gave me something super expensive, and said next time it'll be a condo. So? You can turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And if he found out, what do you think he'd do to me? <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. Yes, I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze him dry. <laughs> okay. See you later. Young master, how long have you been there? Uh, 
Um, young master? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Are you done babysitting the young master? Yep. Let's meet up at Theater Square and walk to the office. Sounds good. What happened with that porn peddler? Sir, Aniki took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. Okay. And how much did you get from him? Uh, about that, uh... I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. I see. And that debt we bought? Oh, yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. Huh? All the money's there, including interest. Huh? Wow. Excellent work. Is that what you thought I would say? <laughs> this bill strap is from the young master's bank. Ichi, what's the real story? <clears throat> there... there is no real story. The young master gave that to me. I swear. He gave it to you? Or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scraps won't fix your incompetence. I didn't beg! I have too much pride to pull something like that! You have pride? When you can't earn for the family?! <laughs> What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt. You don't even know, Pig. <clears throat> Not for a Yakuza, anyway. A Yakuza takes real responsibility. Uh, hey! Bring uh, me the knife. Uh, 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 
do it. What's wrong? You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine. I'll show you. If you're lucky, it'll slip right between the joints for a clean cut. If you're lucky. Good to see you, boss! Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. Ichi, walk with me. Uh, yes, sir. Boss, you saved my ass back there. Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? I don't know. He hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasurer. Sure, I know that, but... It's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people, not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. S sorry party? <laughs> it's not so different than those games you like, is it? Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in headfirst without a thought. Others cover your ass like Mitsu, and some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah, and you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> Speaking of, you looked after Masato today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? Fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichiban, why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure. Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about PDA on New Year's. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a reverse chick magnet. Ha. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Easy for you to say. You probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. No, oh, I... You use the past tense. Going silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family, but the patriarch asked me if I'd marry his daughter. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I love someone else. Her name was Akane. Uh-oh. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time, I was dating Akane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. Oh, man. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was... 
I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh, he had his guys beat the shit out of me. I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. Huh? The boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. What? Kill her? Yes. I couldn't believe it myself. But he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, the body was never found. That's what was waiting for Akane and me. For bringing shame to the Patriarch. <sighs> to this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. <gasps> I called her and told her to leave. I knew Yakuza were already, so I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe, so we could skip- Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited, but just as I was about to lose all hope. Akane! Hello? Where are you? I thought they caught you. Baby, he's here. Huh? Our son. What? Yeah, I got away, but... I... Where are you? I'll come get... Shinjuku Station. Okay, stay there. Try to... They're here. What do I do? Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low pro- My poor baby? In a locker? What are you saying? Uh, don't worry. I'll come get him as soon- Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him- Now hurry! Put the- Okay. Hey, Akane. There she is! That's her! Go, go! Hey. Akane! Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Shit! my child.
Damn it! Move! Move! <laughs> I rescued our child and ran to a hospital. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. So that's why the young master is in a chair. Yes. It was that cold inside the locker. And apparently, if I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented- Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. Your birth- I don't think of it that way, sir. I never saw Akane again. She ran to a bar she knew. But the Hikawa family was all- As I was taking Masato, they were taking her away. They killed her. <sighs> a few days later, the Patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had- Wait. Did- Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> but- even if only by oath. Oh, jeez, sir. That's... Well, let's eat, hmm? Me too. Well, seeing as I'm the king and all, how about we feast on the king of China? What could that be? Oh! Gyoza! <laughs> no, not gyoza. Duck? Mm hmm. The duck is dried and the, and the skin comes out so crispy you peel off the perfectly brown skin. Then your mouth is filled with the stem. Yes, which is why an ancient. Oh, so it really is the. Yep. But there's gotta be a place. Seriously? Hey! You guys open? We need Pinkin! Stop! Relax, Jibam. It's almost the new year. The employees are probably at home, waiting to ring it in with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it, though. <laughs> that duck got lucky to... <laughs> Have a good new year! Ichibam. What have I told oh. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a Yakuza Is when he's with family, or when he's in deep shit. I know. Right. Reputation is... Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck... <sighs> Sounds good. What's wrong, Ichi? You look like you're about to shit yourself. Fuck off! Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while. You should treasure the place where you... It's not like it was the most normal place. No matter how it happened, home is home. One day, you won't be... Twenty-three years ago, on January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside
My mom worked at Soaplands, and even popped me out in one. Then she disappeared. I didn't know that till I was older, when Dad told me. I say Dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the Soapland that took me in. Don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham-bam thank you, ma'am. Hey, can someone keep an eye on Ichiban? Oh, come here, Ichi. Hey, it's my turn to hold him. I was raised by this city's working class folks. According to society, all those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum, too. Well, what? Never! Everything I want to be. You're like a god. <laughs> so, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? When I met you, I had just graduated middle school. After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Just picking fights, shaking people down for easy money. But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy, a Yakuza. So yeah, his crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. What? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, they'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza or who they were at the time, but I knew that name. I thought if I name-dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? <laughs> a kid like you? But my plan backfired. Big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. One of your little brats damn near beat my boy to death. Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Well, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Just kill him, Oniki. Show his face to pick up his trash. Shit out of luck, you little brat. <laughs> Sorry this hard on kids. And you say you've got. Arakawa son! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility. I see. Well, how about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. <sighs> All right then. Let's go, yellow shit. Uh. 
I... What? You... You saved my life. Why? How can I thank you? Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I begged them to betray you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, I saw my life's path ahead of me. It was following this man. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Back the fuck up! <laughs> How many times I gotta say this? We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. Under the scorching sun. Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Who's he? You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir! I had a foster dad, but he's dead now! Come on. Sir! It'd been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa-san. Man, that Oden is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing. Hey, it's almost time for the countdown. Hey, stop it! You came here alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. Leave me alone! Quit acting like you're too good for us. Let's have some fun. Sometimes it's the scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. Hey! A new century is about to start, and I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in a hospital bed. Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? Who the fuck are Tojo clan? Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on. Are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> They've gotta be. Look, he's got the hair and everything. Yeah, plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a mafia. You fuckers better not be making... Hey, boss, leave this to me.
It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Whoa. Just wait till you see what I can do. The battle is on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, miss? <laughs> Get away! Come on, at least thank the boss! It's fine. Just forget it, Ichi. Remember. Yeah. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. Ha! <laughs> wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Good night, Bob. Man, he's such a... Now, I wouldn't mind another... Dr Sir, you have to wake up. Wake up, now. <clears throat> oh, shit. Fell asleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Uh, identification? Yes, like your license. A violent crime. Shit. Uh, you see why you shouldn't... You need to file a stolen item report now? I'm busy, so you'll have to go down... Hi, boss. First of all, Happy New Year. Sorry to call you first thing in the morning. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the... Sure office? thing. You want to go out for the first shrine visit of the... No. Just come to... Uh... Hold up. What family you from? Arakawa. And don't you forget it. Oh yeah, asshole? How about you don't forget your- Oh yeah? And the Sakaki family, dumbass! Um, it's really time to do Let's do it! Yeah! Yeah. 
that's going up. <laughs> You! You're gonna regret this! What the hell was that? Probably nothing. Oh shit, that took a while. Gotta head into the office. It's me, Ichiban. Boss? Good morning! Oh, Ichi. Have a seat. Sir! Stop. Just sit down. Uh, sure. You know the Sakagi family, right? You mean the family we've been fighting with? Hmm. We're fighting them because of a rumor that they're connected to the Omi. But aren't the Omi all the way out in Kansai? Yes. They control the entire region. Their mother, the Tojo clan has butted heads with them for years. It's and what? The Sakaki family's cold. No. The Sakaki family isn't stupid enough to commit, but they have been selling intel to the Omi for some quick, easy ca- <sighs> I confronted them about it at an officer's meeting. Bastard trait. Long story short, they don't like us much right, but at the same time, they still report directly to us, so we need to be careful. We don't want to call- Did something happen? Two hours ago, I got a call from Joe. He... He shot a Sakaki Yakuza. Really? Apparently, he just had- They were both alone. No other men. They talked shit to each other for a bit. Then, luckily, no one saw them. It's only a matter of time before- <sighs> If word gets out that our captain killed someone from a family above ours, it will be considered we'll be expelled from the Tojo clan. You see why I can't let Joe get arrested for this. Ichi, would you be willing to take his place? Are you serious, boss? I mean... I've been waiting for a shot like this. This is my chance to finally repay my debt to you. After everything you've done for me. Let him lock me up for 10 or even 20 years. I'd be happy to do it for you. Ichi. Happy birthday, Haniki! Hey, me too. Thanks. Good job surviving another year. <laughs> we made it to a new... Oh, yeah. Guess so. Damn, you sound pretty bored for a birthday boy. Hey, you going to your first shrine visit of the year? 
How about we do Kamaru again? You do it, and have a good time. I'm not going. Huh? What? Something... Did Captain Sawashiro spring? Yeah. Man, the New Year's barely begun and he's already working you like... No holidays for the Yakuza. We work 300 and... So you're gonna be busy... Me too. How old are you right now? Uh, 20, if you really wanna know. Why? So in 10 years, you'll be 30. In 20, you'll be 40. Great math, dude. What are you getting at? Just eat well and... Um... <laughs> I'll call you later. All right. What? meal as a free man for a while. Yeah, screw it. Yo, hit me with one more! Huh? <laughs> sure. Coming right up. Another beef bowl! It pays me to say this, Ichi, but you've been banished from the family effective last month. What? I'm banished? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan, I could have merely expelled you. But this man, not only was he Tojo, he reported directly to the main family. But being banished, doesn't that mean I can never come back? Don't worry. I'll be working on that personally. I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. Thank you, boss. And perhaps banishment will work in our favor. The court will go easier on you, now that you're just a civilian. Let them do their worst. I can handle a few years in the can. Savor every last moment, don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl? For sure. <laughs> Enough stuff. Come back soon. You ever find your wallet? Well, if not, you might as well file a theft report inside. <laughs> we find the defendant, Ichiban Kasuga, guilty of murder. He is hereby sentenced to 15 years in prison.
Mr. Box. So you're gonna... Sir, I've completed my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. and get back on the outside quick and easy? <laughs> Idiot, you're a murderer. You could act like a goddamn angel in here, but you won't be getting parole for at least ten years. So I'd say it's in your best interest to get along with us. <laughs> Not much to say, huh? <laughs> hey, what family were you in? That's a simple enough question to answer. Right? The Arakawa family. Arakawa? <laughs> you mean that little after-school club of a family? Oh man, this is such a letdown. Here I was thinking we had a real gangster in the house. What did you just say? <laughs> I said your family's a bunch of small-time punks. Your patriarch may have been Arakawa the assassin once, but that was a long time ago. I heard he's gone fucking soft now. You got locked up for that washed-up has-been, and you think it means something? Oh, that's so fucking cute. Buster, I'll kill you! Try your best, little bitch. Why'd you suddenly fight back? You took it for a whole year. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospital for crying out loud. You knocked all their teeth out. They were talking shit about my boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. They were calling him a nobody, saying all this bullshit about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. <clears throat> well, what's he gonna say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry asses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. <laughs> I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. But if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. When someone believes in you, try not to disappoint them. Number 1119. Letter for you.
Apparently it's from someone important. <gasps> it's from Harakawa-san. Dear Ichiban, I wanted to avoid writing to you while you're in prison, but today my brush just called to me. If your sentence hadn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. <laughs> the days have been so lonely without you. Sometimes I think I hear your laughter in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. Only a parent knows how truly empty a home can feel. Parents are nothing without their children. I'm anxiously waiting for the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. P.S. The day you get out of prison, let's get that picking duck we missed. I'm so sorry! When I got into that fight, I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. An extra three years I made you wait just because I did something stupid! I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now! I'm finally back! Did you not know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti-Yakuza laws? It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. In the letter, he said he'd come for me. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Yeah. Thanks for everything. You really thought the welcome wagon was coming. Mm. <sighs> of course, you being in the slammer for 18 years, only natural you'd be a bit mixed up. Gotta say, that's some deep loyalty you've got, waiting for a boss that never even visited you. Who the hell are you? Kanagawa police. A detective? I used to be. Now I'm just a washed up DMV grunt, one year shy of retirement. What's a guy from the slowest apartment ever doing here? Come to remind me to renew my license? Is that a service you offer nowadays? I'm here because I have real business with you. You, the murderer who shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Huh. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but I don't plan on being a repeat offender. That's what everyone thinks when they get out. The moment they set foot on the other side of this fence. Shove it up your ass. You don't know shit about me. You were born and raised in Kamurocho after being abandoned at the famous Shangri-La Soapland. The owner, Jiro Kasuga, took you in. 
Then he and his prostitutes raised you. Well, after that, it's by the book. You dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. Oh, you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of the Tojo clan's Arakawa family. Well, till the night you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. Then, January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Kamuro Police Station. After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where you were just released about three and a half minutes ago. Wow. You want an autograph to show your deep? I just do great. Whatever. Just get out of my way. Oh, Where's paying a visit? It ain't none of your business, just Oh, but actually, it is my business. It very much. Now, you're free to go wherever you feel like, but... What? Are you serious? What? I don't want to insult you, but... Uh, uh, what uh, did you do to my hair? I, I tried. It's just when you asked for a punch perm, I had to look it up. The, the truth is, I've never done one before. Uh, how am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? <laughs> what kind of look are you going for, man? Shut up! I just ended up with a bad barber is all. The hell's your deal, anyway? You really gonna just keep following me? <laughs> I told you, I have business with you. But I'm waiting patiently for you. You're creeping me out, man. Uh, I wondered where you were going. Chief Kaus. Hold on. Isn't he the guy that was killed eight? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. You're looking at him. <laughs> Get. You think I'm joking? Uh, let me ask you this, then. I'd been banished from the Arakawa family, and I just... I, I was so mad. You killed someone just because you were pissed off. What are you, a schoolboy with daddy's gun? Nah. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't be... Do you his... even give a shit, huh? I know that 18 years ago, Suzumori was shot and killed. And yet, you turned yourself in to say... I mean, everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge... Ju Come on, Kasuga. You served your time. Why are you still... Who really killed him? Me. I... <laughs> well, you're... Up. When are you gonna drop the act? My act? The detective shtick. There's no way an old fart one breath away from her... Who are you really? What... My angle. is Arakawa-san, isn't he? Why are you asking? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? We don't do media, so get out of here. Go on, beat it. You don't understand. I used to be a member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. <laughs> if you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just let me talk to Arakawa-san. You'll be glad to see me, so let me through! Hey! Hold your horses there, dumbass. You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, 
They're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on! Get out of here! I didn't do 18 years for this shit. Step aside! If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today! You're getting away with this? Oh, you want some more? Enough! Kasuga! Hey, fellas! Where's my friend here? He's... he's... What? <laughs> Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. Wh Let go of me, damn it! Boss! Horikawa-san! It's me! I got out today! It's each- <sighs> Why didn't he reckon we're gone for 18 years? Isn't it possible- uh, No way! He didn't- I'm sure he just didn't hear- He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go and- He definitely heard you. No, he didn't! I understand. Best case scenario, if he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk. That's not true. I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be visiting a grave? Probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave! And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it... Yeah. All I gotta do is make sure he's- Hey. Look at that. He's, uh, Devin. Which one? That's... That's the former Omi chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance? The Yakuza who run Kansai? Oh, and with so many guys! It's a logical thing for him to do, since he's an Omi officer. Huh? Oh, <laughs> listen here, old-timer. Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit- The Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Huh? What did you just say? Masumi Arakawa is currently the acting captain of the Omi Alliance. He's the second in command. What are you talking about? I knew you wouldn't believe But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third-string family in the... Not the greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub the city of crime. 
He started with targeted attacks on all Tojo's source. He called it the Kamracho 3K. The hell's that? An Anti-Yakuza policy. Keep them hungry, keep them poor. The police started raiding major Yakuza families with surgical precision. Family there was just one. Except huh? That shouldn't come. The reason the police were able to destroy the Tojo clan so fast was because they had inside intel from the Arakawa family. Basically, Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the cops. No, he wouldn't! <laughs> I'm not even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely, the Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamurocho. And you know what the cops did? They looked the other. Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the- Like what? I'm talking about a bribe, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash, so they... And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling to pay back the favor. They welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their... Meanwhile, in the eyes of the Tojo clan, so what little of the Tojo remains will... Occasion... I'm sorry to tell you all this, but... You had to... Don't let it get you down. You okay? Nothing is fucking all right! Yeah, didn't think so. Arakawa-san defecting to the Omi? You know what? You're a so you don't... No way in hell Arakawa-san was like the walking image! You saw him! He was visiting an Omi grave. That wasn't Arakawa-san! I haven't seen the guy for 18 years! So I... Now that I think about it, that guy wasn't even wearing clothes at all. <sighs> you do I... re... We must have misheard! Where are you taking me anyway? This is the... We're going to Yokohama. What? No, I need to get to... I told you, there's nothing... F Come with me to Yokohama. As I've said... Enough mystery! An investigation. Oh, fuck off! I should have helped you with anything! Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you had... Soon we'll be in Kanagawa Prefecture. My jurisdiction. Now what? Stop the car... Hey, Kasuga! If you won't come the easy way, I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. Oh, now the threats are starting, huh? Well, at least oh, they... Oh, is that right? Yeah, like any dirty cop. You're... So what is it you want? For me to do... I can see right through, you fucker. What... Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? But I guess there's no cure for stupid. Ha! <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? Where do you think you're going? Kamrocho, obviously! Were you even listening to me? You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're a Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, at least I'll get one hell of a story out of this, how I nearly got kidnapped. Oh, you are... I have to go find Arakawa-san now. He's somewhere in Kam... Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the... I promise, Kasuga! Oh, damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he... Cool. 
This is it, isn't it? Hey, are you so You got any idea what happened to the office? This used to be, you know, uh, What about before that? No, before the bar, it was a computer store. Uh, Filipino. But 18 years ago, a, a family. The Arakawa family? A uh, fam. A family, family. I. <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh, that's too far back even. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family... Oh, so you're doing... I don't think there's a soul on this side of town. They're a huge... Really? Oh, so where are they? <sighs> In this day and age, Yakuza can't exact... Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Thank you yeah. for... Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand. She always knows what's going on. Okay. the old woman oh you mean the previous owner <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time ago probably taking it easy in an old folks home by now oh I see hey do you know if, where if you're not making a purchase I just want to know where the hey some of us got places to be indeed yes here you are just put it on my tap wow people show sure pathetic you say something where'd you learn your manners huh Jeez, and you're walking around town. Oh, wait, it's Omi Alliance. So, you're in the know. What family? Me? I'm. A oh, uh, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. Like hell you are. You're lying out here with the Omi symbols, faking like. Wait, are you and that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Hmm? Oh, yeah, the bud, only the patriarch and his officers go. Maybe some of their assistants, too, but that's it. Damn, tell me one thing. Who's our patriarch? Dude, just tell me. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa. Man, you forgot the name of your patriarch? Hey, you don't order me to. Oh, but you just said you were in the army. Damn right. And that family is Hojo Clan. Do you... I look fucking asleep? No, you, you must be one of those Tojo pests. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate. You Omi are the ones who invaded. This city, not anymore. I do Tojo wrote. The battle is on! Cool. Son really betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Haniki! That guy's a Tojo loyalist! Get him! What? Get back here! Excuse me. Mm. 
Thanks. <sighs> See ya. I can tell you love your job, but you ought to love being a lot of real fist fight between the Omi Alliance. <laughs> oh, yeah. These Hey, hold up. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? Don't bother that guy. 
It was your fault. Come on. Get... If I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit. Tough words for a guy who just. Yeah, you better run. Ka Kamula. It's a local mascot they made to improve. What the hell is a? Uh, we're gonna be here. Remember the internet? It's big. Fine. Just tell me what you were in that family once upon a. Stop. You got an... I don't believe that Arakawa-san was a tri... You really want to know why Arakawa... Because I do have the scoop. No. So tell me! When did you get locked 18 up? 18 years ago. And Arakawa had a son, right? Yeah, the young master. It used to be my job to... I don't know the details, but he was kind of sick. Uh -huh. uh, what do you mean, what? He's dead. What? When? How? Huh. Would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. It was more than being fond of him. Arakawa... Maybe the loss changed his pers... Nothing worse than burying your own... Yeah. I can't imagine. I still don't see how that would make him betray the toad. You don't. Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's the parents got to find another reason any <sighs> couple that with the fact that arakawa is a yak i think maybe his new reason to live became he would hey why don't you give me some info now you really in yeah then you shouldn't just be strolling around you still got business here if not huh? i promise kasuga there's nothing what? i mean I'm just saying the Omi, so I'd get out of town if I were you. Home? Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be shank. Hey! You're not going there! Don't do it! I'm telling you, they'll kill you! Kill me? It's trashed. Never thought I'd outlive Shangri-La. So, is this the last stop on your tour of Kamarocho? <sighs> well, I knew you'd end up here. You again? 
Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamarocho. What happened here? There was a Tojo clan civil war. And some moron drove a dump truck through the place. Well, no one's come near it ever since. And now, it's real messed up to see. I guess I never read. It's not the Kamarocho you remember. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? The new Kamuro police station. Just one more set of... That's because of the 3K plan. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around, the station finally... That's why everybody loves our... Go Kamuro police station is just... <laughs> well... Kasuga. I've been nothing but honest with you. The Tojo clan you know... The Omi alliance from Kansai invaded. And won. <sighs> So, yes. Then we're making good time. Huh? I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho and tell it all. What are you doing? Trying to guess everything I... Well, I didn't guess everything. I... <sighs> I want you to help me with my... Huh? Arakawa, your former boss, used the police to crush the Tojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just... So my theory is some of that money went directly to Juro Horinouchi. The police committee? Yeah. Then I got a bone to pick with that guy. Of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now. But one chance I do have is if I go through Moscow... And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa. Congrats. You solved the puzzle. I thought you'd be game because... Come on. Aren't you dying to know why he But if you don't agree, why don't you tell me? I want to see Arakawa-san. It's all I thought about in prison. Well, for your information... Tonight, Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting. Really? Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet... For Arakawa, it's a critical moment. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Go figure. <laughs> Check out that restaurant over there. Hey, I'm oh, that's... Oh, have you been there? It's, uh, pretty... No, I haven't gone. It's just... Arakawa-san. Wait, I get it! This is Arakawa-san trying to contact me! Huh? Wait, what are you saying? It can't be a coincidence that the meeting is going at a place that meant something to me! Of course it could be a coincidence. Come, there aren't many classy restaurants around here. Period. Stands... Screw you! It doesn't even matter. What's important is... Okay. First of all, the meat. And on top of that, the Omi note, if they catch you, then you'll have zero chance. Now, luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Okay. That's what a surprise. Later? What, we're... Now, I'm sure you have shit to do. Just like... Here. What is this? A smartphone. Night. How do you use it? Why do they make phones so damn... You'll figure it out. Just me... Whatever. Okay, so remember, we're until then, keep a low profile.